Hi girls! So this is the look we're going to be doing today and it is a 1960s Playboy Club bunny. And this look was requested by Megan on Facebook. So hi! Thank you! Um, she wanted a sexy bunny look and seriously what is more sexy than a Playboy bunny? I don't think there's anything better. So I decided to choose the 60s bunnies just because it's really when the club started getting more established and the eyeliner and the lip color really make it distinct and different from the classic pinup of the 50s. So you have this very triangular sort of liner, much more graphic and um, much more bold, I think. And then the lips, you can go anywhere you want with the lips. Now as far as foundation, I do highly suggest contouring and highlighting the living crap out of your face and going with a satin finish foundation so you don't want to over powder, you don't want that really really powdered look of the 50's. You just want to set it and go with more of a satiny kind of foundation. So your skin just needs a little bit more luminosity. Other than that, the look is fairly basic, it's very easy to get and it's very customizable based on the color that you put on your lids. I went neutral and did like a champagne-y flesh tone, more of like a cream. If you're wearing blue, feel free to put like a very light pastel blue underneath or pink or whatever color that you want to underneath. So that's it. As always, I will have a list of all the products on my blog and that link will be down below in the info section. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start by priming my eye with a shimmery eye primer. Now I'm going to take a pointed shader brush and this uh, matte, like light brown. And I'm just going to shape my crease. You want it to kind of curl up at the end and then dome up and come in. Now I'm going to take this satin, slightly darker brown, and just put it on the tip of my brush and follow that same shape just in the crease. Now I'm wipe off my brush and I'm going to take this very light flesh tone shimmery color. Um, any champagne or flesh tony kind of color will work. I'm going to put that along my inner corner. And under my brow. Now I'm going to take that first shade we took, the light brown, on the tip of my brush and just run this right along the very outer corner of my lash line on the bottom. Now I'm going to take a black pencil, or a black eyeliner, and I'm just going to line my upper lash line very close to the lash line and then smudge it out. And I'm going to take the same brush and a very, very shimmery um, kind of cream shade. You can use a pastel pink, blue, um, match costume however you wanted to, or anything in the, like a super shimmery flesh tony kind of shade. And we're just going to put this all over the lid.
I'm going to line my lower waterline in a pearly light color. Um, I prefer the violet. You guys can use white, flesh, any kind of pearly sort of shade that you want to use. Okay, now for liner. You don't want to use a liquid liner because you want a slightly softer edge than liquid liner is going to give you. So you're going to want to take a really, really pigmented black. I'm going to be using this one from the Kat Von D palettes, the um, loose spurts in a lot of the palettes. You can use any really pigmented black. And this is how the look really differs from a pinup look. So I'm going to take my angled brush and you're going to want to go up from your lower water line, kind of following your lash line. And now you're going to want to kind of slightly look down and bring this line right to almost the middle of your eye. And then just do a thin line across the rest of your lid. And then I'm going to kind of even out this little bump here. And then just fill it in. All right, now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on mascara. Um, this is the type of look you can go as dramatic as you want with the lashes. Just make sure they're kind of tapered towards the outside corner or they're more rounded. I'm just going to do mascara for the time being. Um, when you do your mascara, just hit the very, very tiny outer corner on your bottom lashes and then very, very sparsely on the rest of your bottom lashes. Almost nothing, just enough to make sure that they're there. Right, time for blush. Make sure to use a warm tone blush. Pretty much that's about all that matters in this part. Um, you can use one that's matte, one with shine, however you want to do that. And you want to pop this right along your cheekbones and feather it along the apple of your cheek. Now for lips. Lips, you can go anywhere across the board on this, from a really deep scarlet red to a bold pinup red to hot pink to light pink to nude. Really, the lips are all up to you. I would suggest keeping it in a warmer shade rather than a cool shade, um, unless your outfit is cooler. Like if your outfit is a baby blue, you can go with a really light pastel pink. It'll look great. Um, I just say stay away from oranges and purples unless you have a deep toned skin and then you can go ahead and do a slightly violet shade but still make sure it's not too much. I'm going to be doing kind of a deep kind of neutralish pink, like a warm deep rose pink. And then for gloss, you're going to want to use a very shiny, very shimmery, um, you don't want to really necessarily see glitter in it, but very shimmery sort of gloss that coincides with your lipstick. 
Okay, so here is our finished look. And as you can tell, it's a very simple, very refined, classic look. But the eyeliner gives it that bold graphicness that makes it really stand out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for the request. And I'll see you girls next time. Have a great night.